gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for these devotionals as we navigate through the book of Daniel. I'm loving this book. We're in Daniel chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 46 through 49. The setup is this, is that Daniel has been given a dream. He then goes to Nebuchadnezzar to tell him the dream and interpret it. And now we're going to get to see how the king responds. It says this, then King Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face about that and paid homage to Daniel and commanded that an offering and incense be offered up to him. The king answered and said to Daniel, truly your God is God of gods and Lord of kings and revealer of mysteries for you have been able to reveal this mystery. Then the king gave Daniel high honors and many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief prefect over all the wise men of Babylon. Daniel made a request of the king. He appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his three buds, over the affairs of the province of Babylon, but Daniel remained at the king's court. <laughs> this is awesome. I mean, seriously awesome. I mean, God took one of the great global monarchs of all time, someone who didn't even believe in God, and brought him to his knees through a dream, fellas, and then turned him into a believer. Well, at least at this moment in time, turned him into a believer. <laughs> and guess what? I believe God still wants to do stuff like this. He does. In fact, I think he still can. He is ready to turn antagonistic, enraged, angry, narcissistic men and leaders into believers. And yet there is one critical component from the story that we can't miss. He's looking for one faithful available and humble man, willing to take a step of faith and lead the way. The question is this, are you that man? Fellas, take a leap of faith today. See what God does. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.